this song ties nicely into today's concept, it's also the riff that I would recommend to somebody who wants to learn math rock guitar. And this is largely because this riff contains many of the conventions that we do associate with math rock guitar. And this album has influenced so many math rock guitarists uh, in the modern day era. And also to mention the, the amount of memes that have been spawned from the infamous house picture on the front of this album. Okay, so let's get into a brief riff tutorial. I'm gonna help you through this one. First, you're gonna need to grab a Telecaster. Um, just joking, a Telecaster is optional. However, I do recommend a Telecaster. If you haven't got a Telecaster, you might wanna get a Telecaster, uh, Telecaster. So a big part of math rock is using different tunings and that's what we're going to do for this song. We're going to tune our, from standard tuning, to F, A, C, G, C, E tuning, which is this F major 9 chord. So let's go through this together, I'll just throw my tuner on. So your E string is going to go up to F, so you're going to go up a semitone. Your A is going to stay the same, but make sure you retune that one. Your D string is now going to come down to C. The G string will stay the same, and then your B is going to go up to C. And then lastly, your E string will stay the same. Make sure to retune. just get lost in that for days, right? Now we have this wonderful mel melancholy kind of feeling to it. And um, these tunings just set you off into this feeling already. They kind of give you some coloring on, on a canvas, so to speak, that you can write from. So I'm gonna have the tab on screen here to help you through this riff, but I wanna divide it into two parts. We're going to have this pull off and hammer on phrase, and then we'll have this ascending melody, like a repeating phrase. So to begin with the first phrase, uh, you're going to hit the C string open, and you wanna keep that ringing. You wanna make sure that you're not hitting it and muting it as we progress through this riff. I want you to use your ring finger on the fourth fret of the C string here, and you're going to pull off to the second fret and then pull off to open. So hit that C string. And then after that, you're going to hammer on from nowhere onto the second fret on the G string. I'll do that slowly for you. And that's the first part of the phrase. It is much quicker than that in the actual song, but we'll practice it slowly, we'll build up the speed, and by no time you'll have it down to the full speed like that. After that, we've got the second phrase where we're going to ascend up. I want you to focus more on the, the picking pattern here. It's this repeating picking pattern. And to make things easier, I just want you to do this ascending pattern using one finger, so you're not really thinking about this hand so much, and you can concentrate on the picking. So I do recommend the middle finger for this one. So, when we hit this fret here, You might hear there's two slides in that section, and we're just going to use the one finger to do that as well. So, we do the first phrase. Single note, slide, single note, slide. Once you're familiar with that, I want you to practice with it me, along with me, really slowly. One, two, three, four. That's going to be it for the quick tutorial there. What I'll leave you with for the end of this video is a, a full a full speed version of the riff. I wanna say thank you very much for watching this video and I'm uh, hoping that you're excited to start on your math rock guitar journey here. Um, if you have watched this channel before, if you've been watching my videos, um, maybe we can help each other out here and I would like you to recommend where could you go from you know this song, Never Meant, what album should you listen to? To get this kind of gradual introduction to math rock, like I said, instead of diving straight into the more um, erratic and chaotic stuff, let's say. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you to the patrons that support the channel, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.